What's up guys, I'm JD with The Slumberyard. Hopefully you're doing well. That's Wes behind the camera. Heyo! And today we've got a comparison between two puffy beds. So we're gonna be talking about how the original puffy mattress compares to their enhanced side sleeper bed, which is the Puffy Lux Hybrid. So both of these are relatively popular options within the online space, but if you're looking at Puffy's lineup and deciding which of these beds to really go with and why, you've clicked on the right video because I'm basically within this thing gonna to try to tell you everything that you need to know about these two options so you can make a well-informed decision before you by. We're gonna start things off by talking about the policy information that both are backed by. Then we're gonna delve into the similarities between the two. We're gonna talk about what's different between them. We'll of course talk about pricing. And at the end, I'll even sum things up with a final verdict for you so you can ultimately determine which of these options is gonna be the right one for you. Now, if you enjoy this video, you maybe get something out of it, you find it helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for so much more online bed advice such as this. And if you need any more information about these two options once this video ends, check out the description box. We're gonna to try to link a bunch more helpful information regarding these two beds down there for you guys to check out. And you can always feel free to head on over to our website for so much more. But without further ado, let's get right into this comparison. At the slumber yard, you know we work real hard to find the right bed for you. All right, so right out of the gate, let's talk policies. What exactly are you gonna be getting in terms of shipping, returns, trial periods, and warranties when you go the route of Puffy? Well, just so you know, we did receive both of these Puffy beds for free to review from Puffy directly. But if you buy them online, you should be getting free shipping to start. These beds will likely show up at your door in a box that's around like four feet tall or so. And all you gotta do is just drag those into your home and unbox them. And with the help of a friend, it's actually pretty easy and straightforward and kind of fun to do. With the original Puffy, you could probably get away with unboxing it by yourself since it's a relatively light all foam mattress. But with Puffy Lux Hybrid, you might just want a friend there to help you out as hybrid beds can be kind of burly and heavier to move by yourself. Now, once these beds are set up and in your possession, that's when your sleep trial of 101 nights kicks in with both. And this is basically your chunk of time to see if the beds are gonna be right for you or not. And if within that time frame you just end up not liking them for whatever reason, you also get completely free returns, in which case you just call the company up, Puffy, and they'll work with you to set up a mattress removal at no additional cost to you. But on the flip side, if you end up getting these mattresses, you sleep on them for a couple of nights and you love them, that's great because both are backed by lifetime warranties. And that warranty is above and beyond the usual industry standard of around like 10 years or so. Now, if you need any more information about the policies that I just covered, we're gonna try to link some more helpful stuff down below in the description box for you to check out as well. But now let's start talking about the beds themselves and talk about the commonalities between the two. The first one has to do with their very similar feels. Both share more of a soft, neutral foam feel. It is a little bit nuanced between the two. Their top layers of cooling cloud foam are rather similar to a memory foam in terms of pressure relief, but more like a neutral foam in terms of responsiveness. But in either case, case here, both of these puffy beds are gonna share a rather soft, accommodating foam feel. Now they also both share machine washable covers. So that means if these beds happen to become dirty over time as you use them, instead of spot cleaning them, you can actually remove that cover and send it through your wash, which is actually really easy and convenient. Now putting that cover back on the mattress might not be the most convenient and easy thing to do, especially if it ends up shrinking in your dryer. So maybe hang dry that cover as opposed to tossing it in your dryer. But both do feature a cover that is relatively easy easy to clean. Those are basically the main similarities between Puffy and Puffy Lux Hybrid. So now let's dive into the differences. And the main one has to do with construction. So the flagship Puffy is a three layer all foam bed. You've got support foam on the bottom. Then you have a transition layer that's more responsive. And then you have their cooling cloud foam on top, which is essentially a softer comfort foam. Puffy Lux, on the other hand, is a four layer hybrid mattress. So you have coils instead of support foam on the bottom. And the rest of the construction is very similar to the original Puffy with an added transition layer to make the bed a little bit more soft. Now, because Puffy Lux Hybrid uses those support coils on the bottom, it'll probably be the better option for heavier people at the end of the day. We commonly suggest that heavier people like myself, if you're in the range of like 200 pounds and up, look into getting a hybrid mattress as opposed to an all foam one. And that's mainly because hybrid beds at the end of the day provide a lot more support for bigger body types. Now, in terms of firmness, Puffy is also gonna be a little firmer than Puffy Lux Hybrid. So Puffy Lux Hybrid is right in between a medium and a medium soft on our scale. So all sleeper types should be able to get by on it, but it will probably cater to side and combination sleepers who are looking for a little bit more pressure relief in their bed. The flagship Puffy is right at a proper medium on our scale. So that means it should be able to work for all sleeper types right off the bat. 
Whether you like to sleep on your back, side, stomach, or a combination of all three, you should be set. But remember, firmness is subjective, and it usually depends on how much you weigh. So heavier people will probably feel puffy to be softer than a medium, and more petite-sized people will feel it to be a bit firmer. But for the average Joe, someone in the range of 160 pounds, somewhere around there, you should feel it to be right at a medium firmness. But now it's time to talk about pricing. How much are you gonna be shelling out for these puffy mattresses? Well, since Puffy Lux Hybrid is the more enhanced side sleeper version of the original Puffy mattress, that bed will probably cost you a bit more than the flagship one. But as of when I'm doing this video, a queen size Puffy Lux Hybrid currently retails for right around $22.50, somewhere in there. But Puffy as a brand is really good with the discounts and bundles that they run on their beds. So after which you can expect to pay around $1,500 flat for that Puffy Lux Hybrid. Now the original Puffy, as I alluded to earlier, is the more affordable option. As of when I'm doing this video, a queen size retails for right around 1800 bucks. But after discount, you should expect to pay in the range of 1050, somewhere in there. So again, a lot more affordable than that Puffy Lux Hybrid. But whatever we can find in terms of current discounts and promotions for these options is gonna be linked down below in the description. We should have something linked there for you. But when it comes to comparing Puffy to Puffy Lux Hybrid, that's essentially it. I could go on and on about these options and talk about things that couples should consider, but the fact of the matter is edge support, motion isolation, and temperature regulation is pretty much neutral and solid across the board. I guess now it's time to give you my final verdict. So let's get right into that. I'd say look into the Puffy Lux if you wanna spend up for a hybrid bed with a soft foam feel and a softer firmness profile that should work great for side sleepers of all body types. And then look into the original Puffy bed if you're just looking for an all foam mattress with a soft foam feel that should work for all sleeper types, being that it's around a medium firmness and you want the more affordable option between the two. But hey, that's just our team's take on it. What is yours? Write us down below in the comments and let us know which of these options you would ultimately go with and why. If you enjoyed this video, you got something out of it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for so much more. And remember a lot more related content to help you out with your online mattress search should also be linked down below in the description box. Full written reviews of beds, other comparisons, buyer guides, and of course our discounts to help you out in terms of saving money on them. And also feel free to head on over to our website, myslumberyard.com to learn so much more about beds within the online space, but that's gonna sum it up for this one. Again, I'm JD with The Slumber Yard. Hopefully you're doing well. That's Wes behind the camera. You know it! And like always, sleep right, sleep tight, and we'll see you next time.